Pine City Littles, Crystal here. Oh, so that, <laughs> that's just Max. He's barking because we just went on a walk and he's so excited and wanted to say welcome to church. That's right. Welcome every single one of you. These, <laughs> these are Max's toys. He loves to play with his friends. Hey, speaking of friends, I made a list of all the places that I want to take Max on a walk from. Do you know the places? They're the places that all of you are watching from. That's right. We have Dessa from Guatemala, Amelia from Boston, Jonah from Canada, and Matthew from Puerto Rico. That's right. The list goes on and on and on. We've got a lot of walking to do. Hey, but we actually have some special friends tuning in today that are gonna help us in our Shoreline City Creed! Yes, our creed! If you don't know what our creed is, it's just a snapshot of what we believe God says about you and what he says about me. So hey, follow along. Hi Littles, I'm Caroline Ariza. Would you like to say the creed with me? I am loved by God. I cannot earn it. I cannot lose it. In Christ, I'm forgiven and made brand new. I live with passion and purpose. I am empowered by the Spirit to be the church in the world and to live for the glory of God. Amen. Now let's worship. He's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. I know they are good, I know they are best The reason I know is because he said He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, oh, that's what I know That's what I know, oh, that's what I know And when I'm feeling so sad Sunday plans. Let's see. Kai wants vanilla ice cream. Check. Lucy wants chocolate ice cream. Check. Now let's check our toppings. Kai wants whipped cream. 
Check. And strawberries. Check. Lucy wants gummy worms. Check. I want chocolate syrup. Oh, and sprinkles. Lots of sprinkles. Wow, I think we have everything we need for everyone to follow their ice cream Sunday plans. And each plan is different. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Following some party plans, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Everybody has a different plan for their ice cream Sundays. You have many different plans. It's true. I have a story about the best plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Ready? And go. <laughs> Oh, hi friends! I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Goldie and Barkley. We're celebrating Ice Cream Sunday Month with a doggy Sunday party. I think they like them. <laughs> We're also celebrating because we have been learning about God's plan for Joseph, and today we get to hear the last part of his story, and it is awesome. Do you know who this is? Yep, it's Joseph. He always trusted in God's plan. And these are Joseph's 11 brothers who got super mad and jealous when their dad gave Joseph a special coat and didn't give them one. So they stole the coat, threw Joseph in a hole and sent him with people who took him far away from home where he was thrown in jail. Then Joseph was taken out of jail, helped the Pharaoh learn about his dreams and got put in charge of giving hungry people food. Wow, three cheers for God's plan. God's plan is awesome. Hip, hip, hooray. Can you say that with me? Ready? Hip, hip, hooray. One more time. Hip, hip, hooray. No matter how hard it was, Joseph knew that God loved him, that God was always with him, and that he could trust God's plan. But that's not the end of the story. There is more to God's plan. Remember Joseph's brothers? Well, now back at home, wait a minute. Stormy Jane, you're not a brother in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. That's better. Okay, so back at home, the brothers were super hungry and had no food. And guess where they had to go to get food? You got it. They had to go see Joseph because he was in charge of all the food. But they didn't know Joseph was in charge. Well, one day, Joseph was at the palace when his brothers came looking for food. Joseph was so surprised to see them. Show me your surprise face. <gasps> That's good. Joseph had a choice to make. Choice one, he could forgive his brothers and give them food to eat. Or choice two, he could just send them away hungry. What do you think God wanted Joseph to do? Choice one, you're right. That's exactly what Joseph did. Joseph forgave his brothers and gave them food to eat. He even gave them a hug and was happy to see them. It was the best ending to the story because Joseph followed God's plan. I love how Joseph followed God's plan. I wanna follow God's plan and you can too. God's plan is the best plan. Oh, hey Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. Woof! I just learned so much about forgiveness. <gasps> that means it's table talk time. That's right, boys and girls. I'm going to ask you a few questions, and you get to shout back the answer. This should be pretty easy, because they're all from our lesson today. Okay, question numero uno. When is God's plan the best plan? Always. That's right. Does God have good things planned for us? Yes, he does. The Bible says that God is good and has good things planned for you and for me. How? Can we follow God's plan? We can love, we can serve, 
and forgive others. But hey, who wants us to forgive? That's right. God wants us to forgive. Just like Joseph forgave his brothers when they hurt him. He forgave them so much that when they were hurting and when they were hungry, he actually fed them until they were full in their bellies. And we get to forgive just like that too. Hey, today's memory statement is that God wants us to forgive others. I feel like that might be easier if we had some cool motions to follow along. So why don't we do that together, okay? God wants us to forgive others. One more time. God wants us to forgive others. That's right, boys and girls. We get to forgive others because Jesus has forgiven every single one of us. And that's the best news I've ever heard. <laughs> and I hope it has been to you too. Well, boys and girls, today has been my absolute favorite. But that's all the time we have for today. I'm sure you're going to miss you, but I'll see you next time. Bye!